Welcome to another update from the 4 to 13 to Australia Oceania team where we had two tropical cyclones down here in the southern hemisphere. We had tropical cyclone Donna located 21 decimal 1 degrees south, 166 decimal 8 degrees east, maximum wind 60 knots and central pressure around the 978 millibars. Whilst Tropical Cyclone Donna is now on a weakening trend, Tropical Cyclone Ella is located 15 decimal zero degrees south, 173 decimal zero degrees west, maximum winds 40 knots, central pressure is around the 1004 millibars. This is the latest total precipitation by the GFS model and on the Tropical Titbits website. This is the location of Tropical Titbits on Ella. A couple of other tracks on Donna. And you can see Donna and Ella. And Tropical Cyclone Ella is now being impacted in part by Donna. And this is restricting Ella's ability to develop further. Now this is a wind and direction feature. It looks like Donna is going to track down towards New Zealand. And the total precipitable water uh, outlook for the Australia Fiji region. Now, this is Rave Caps from the NAFGEM model. And this item doesn't show much for Ella at this point in time. Now this is the NOAA floaters on Tropical Cyclone Ella. And Ella is supposed to reach Cat 2 status. Sea service temperature for Donna is 26 through 28 degrees Celsius. So sea service temperature isn't healthy for Donna. And for tropical cyclone Ella, up around the 30 degrees Celsius level. Now this is a look at the latest wind shear. The 850 millibars uh, vorticity and you can see the outgoing Donna, tropical cyclone Ella and you can note the difference in the colouring.
in tropical systems lovely area in blue to green and the other colours very unfriendly towards a tropical system Now this is the latest track chart on Tropical Cyclone Ella from the Navy Weather Office. Joint Typhoon Warning Center. And the latest from the centre on Tropical Cyclone Donna. Now we look at the latest uh, floaters on Donna via the NOAA. And sea surface temperature so 28 right down to 25 degrees Celsius. The latest service chart from the Nandy office. And the western side of Ella is being impacted on by Donna. And the Bureau of Meteorology has a gale warning for the Great Barrier Reef offshore Capricornia case here in Queensland. A strong wind warning for Cairns, Townsville, Mackay case, Harvey Bay including Fraser Island case. And this is the latest rainfall information from the Bureau. And again, look at the area to the north north east of Fraser Island. The total forecasts of rain across the next eight days and note the light green, dark green to the blue east of Mackay, southern area of the Great Barrier Reef and Fraser Island. And this is days one through eight. It looks like the area south of Fraser Island down towards Brisbane could see up to 50 millimetres of rain and currently here at my HQ in Brisbane it is very overcast, cool and rainy. Now this is a, a look at one model on the Windy website for Ella, Donna and last southeast corner of Queensland up to Mackay.
So here on the east coast of Australia in the city of Brisbane it's going to be a very wet and windy day and look at that wind from uh, Bundaberg right up to Mackay and is there a surface low answer will be in the next uh, update via the Force 13 Australia Oceana team. And once again Force 13 appreciates the support across the main channel and the AU channel. You can follow Force 13 on any of our many outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker. Of course, we're on YouTube. You're probably watching us there, but if not, there it is. You can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13, all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter, um, also all in text. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype and add extension 9094 on Discord. <laughs> 